Hi everyone, welcome back to Mountain Shadows Arts and Craft video. Today we'll be making a winter hat. Hola amigos, el día de hoy vamos a hacer un gorro invernal. So in the package you receive the template of a hat. You also receive a white crayon, a topping for the top of your hat, some paint, which is probably a little watered down, and you also receive some cotton balls. En su paquete van a recibir el, el, el stencil del gorro, un crayon blanco, un adorno para arriba del gorro, pintura que va a estar un poquito aguada porque es watercolor, y algodones. And you'll need a pair of scissors and some um, napkins. Van a necesitar tijeras y papel, uh, toallas de papel. Okay, so let's begin by cutting. Vamos a cortar primero nuestro gorro. It is very fun working with watercolor, color paint. This is almost like a, a magic trick that will happen right before your eyes. Okay, here we go. Right, so let's put this aside. So you begin by getting your crayon and you're gonna make design. You're not gonna be able to see it, so um, don't worry. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna make a line going across from one end to the other for the bottom of the hat. Vamos a usar nuestro crayón blanco y vamos a pintar diseños. No lo van a ver muy bien, pero lo van a sentir. Entonces, Marta puso una raya a través y luego va a poner rayas verticales. So then you want to make your, your lines going down from where you drew your first line. Y se dan cuenta que sí se puede ver el crayón en el papel. So make sure you press down on it. Necesitan una capa gruesa de crayón. Okay. So then, if you want, you can make like little snowflakes like this. Going across. Pueden hacer estrellas, pueden hacer puntitos, espirales, lo que a ustedes les guste. Any design you want to do, you can do. And then, maybe, like I, I, we did here, we made another line on the top portion of it, and then one below, and then you can make zigzag. Entonces pueden poner otra franja arriba y ponerle este otro diseño. And you can make circles. Pueden poner puntos. Okay, now for the magic. Y ahora viene lo interesante. I'm going to put a napkin down here because I'm a messy person. Vamos a poner una servilleta abajo del papel. Y vamos a hacer nuestras bolitas de algodón. Okay, so we're going to use our cotton ball and our paint. And you're just going to... Y le vamos a pasar la pintura arriba del crayón. Yeah. Póngale suficiente pintura para que tenga textura. So you want to put enough paint on it so it can have some kind of a texture. 
Imagínense que va a ser un gorro tejido. So, como el que usamos en invierno. And you can always oh, already see the design on them. Ya se empiezan a ver los diseños. Ven que es como magia. Just like she said, it's like magic. All right. So then, I'm just going to put that in there. So then you take your paper towel or your napkin. Y ahora tomamos una servilleta o una uh, toallita de papel. And you place it on top. Lo ponemos arriba de nuestro gorro y presionamos. And then you press down to pick up the extra paint. Y esto le va a dar textura a nuestro gorro. All right. Look wow. at that, just like magic. Look how beautiful. Quitamos la servilleta y miren cómo tiene textura, como si fuera tejido. Okay. So then, when the paint dries, I would advise that you can put your your decoration on it like that. If you have pom poms at home, the big ones like these, you can add that to it, and it just looks so beautiful. The ones you received did have um, the sticky back, so it it'll still stick with your wet paint. Hay que esperar a que se seque la pintura para pegar nuestro adorno o si tiene pompones o lo que le quieran poner en la parte de arriba de su gorra, ustedes deciden. Puede ser una estrella como esta, puede ser un pompón. Y miren qué bonito que es. Look how beautiful that looks. Y así nos queda nuestro gorro invernal. Have fun, enjoy it, send us some pictures, please. We love when you send them in. Esperamos que les guste y mándenos fotos. Hasta la próxima.